Roughneck TV, we back with some more Firehood content. Who are the Pueblo Bishops? We gon' not dig deep, but scratch the surface and keep it respectful. And they got a lot going on as far as the music goes, you know what I'm saying? You got a couple artists from there making some slaps, some good ass music, and we gon' just, you know, scratch the surface and give you all a little history about what they what they got going on, where they come from, the origins of the roots, you know what I'm saying? And they also share a hood with the Orientals, so we gon' just scratch the surface on that too, man. We gon' get into it though, Roughneck TV. Make sure y'all like the for more content like this the best hood vlogger and the best hood story whatever you want to call it man i'm just bringing y'all the fire fire hood content let's go yes sir before we get into it i just want to say all the information that's going to be addressing this video is all factual information nothing is twisted out of respect for the homies of pueblo bishops you know what I'm saying a lot of real people do real things and i'm gonna leave it at that let's get into it Rubneck tv Hey, blood on Pueblo Bishop. Oh, blood, this slick right here for all the homies that VIP for Pueblo Bishop, blood. They didn't make it far as we made it, blood. Good book, Tango. Y'all step back. Step back, slick, so take the whole picture. Hey, hey, hey. The Eastside Pueblo Bishops are a long-standing African-American street gang located in Los Angeles, California in the Pueblo Del Rio housing projects. We all heard of those infamous, 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 but claim much of the surrounding area as well. To be honest, the territory lies between Slauson Avenue and the South to 50th Street in the north and between Alameda Street in the east and Company Avenue in the west. Their territory is often referred to as a low bottom. We all heard of that on the streets and in the pen because of the low numeric numbering of the residential streets. The five dudes Pueblo bishops are the main clique indicating that this gang controls East 52nd Street and that the territory they control is within the Pueblo Del Rio housing projects infamous. But there's also a clique located on 50, 54th Street in 1972 the nine deuce, the nine two, ninety, ninety, you know, ninety second, nine two, however you want to refer to it as bishops were established by Bobby Lavender. Shout out to you, OG. After his friend was shot and killed by the East Side Crips, that's when he established the nine deuce bishops. When his when his boy was shot by the East Side Crips, you know, that's how gang politics are. Even though the Pueblos traditionally had close relationships with the nine deuce bishops, they are actually clicked up with the Bebop Watts Bloods. Who are usually involved in their conflicts also we all you know if you, if you know you know the alliance between the peblos and the bebop watch is referred to as the bebop watch bishop bloods alliance the peblos are also friendly towards the oriana boys who share the the pueblo del rio housing projects that's what i was saying earlier in the video the oriana boys and, um they call me ck tiny yeah we over here in the peblos del rio project in our south central la this is like a um gang infested you know neighborhood you know, there's a lot of people from other places. They don't like you. You know, they don't like where you stay just because we live in the project. Uh, they do share the same projects. By the late 1990s, the Pueblos had also established a truce between themselves and the Five Dudes Broadway Gangsta Crips and the uh, 53rd Avalon Gangsta Crips to combat the Fort Pack, Six Pack East Coast Crips, as well as their longest most bitter rivals and i really want to share this video with y'all man i can never be a real one without letting the real og speak his thoughts and opinions about him and, and homies losing homies to the streets and to jail you know what i'm saying this is real real life stuff you can't take this back a lot of real niggas did real things you know what i'm saying that can't be talked about but you get the drift you get the point i'm gonna leave it out there but i'm gonna let a real og from pueblo tell his little story you know what i'm saying not little but little in that sense where it's going to be a short clip you feel me let's get it we lost homies in the hood. We lost a lot of homies to the penitentiary to this to, to this this villain Pablo War. Okay, let's be kumbaya again. It, it'll never happen. I mean, it's worse than our war with the Crips or the war that was started between the Pueblos and, and the 38th Street. They don't even know each other, the younger generation. Y'all don't know each other, but you would never really want to know each other because of the losses that they took and the Pablos took. But to say all of this, I would tell them, like they homies on the villain side, stay away from the violence, man. You know, if you see a Pablo, you know, 
Give him a pass. Just, you know, learn to live. Yeah, and I got another video that I really want to share. I think it's very important that I share this video. Bobby Lavender, one of the founders uh, making these videos. What do I look like not really, you know, giving you guys the real, like, it's, I mean, these words are coming from the, the, the start of the beginning this is where it started from like this is a g homie you know what i'm saying if you get my drip this is a g homie this is where it all started from so what do i look like making a video about the the pueblo bishops and not including this very very important information man i know y'all gonna appreciate this video much love to my bishops salute 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 let's get into it invented blood i just got with him <laughs> and they in cold blood. It's like, yes, yeah, but like he, he said it's all way of life. Way of life. That feud began in, oh, began in 72. Yeah, and this is 88. It's still going. Still going. So one day, a very close friend of mine, uh, his name was Skip, he was walking down Bandera, and some troops came up. East side, they called themselves at that time, and they shot him in the neck. He told him, he asked him where was the party, he told him down the street and they shot him. And so the decision was made then that no one else in that neighborhood was going to die. And so we considered different names in my garage. And I truly honestly believe that uh, they don't want to do anything about it. Because it could have been stopped a long time ago. There it is there, bro. Some real life history. You heard it from Bobby Lavender himself. Um, 1972, the Nine Deuce Bishops was formed and established. Um, these are the housing projects right here, the Pueblo Del Rio housing projects. A lot of history, man. A lot, like I said, man. A lot of real, real niggas did some real things, and that's you know we can't talk about it and we can't take from them too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of homies is in jail. A lot of homies is 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 you know not R.I.P. You know, not hear what I'm gonna say. R.I.P. to them. You know what I'm saying? But the rabbit hole goes deep, man. This gang, this gang life ain't just. Nothing you could just play with, you know what I'm saying? It's the real deal, man. It's it's by choice and it's a lifestyle, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, well, white gang bang, that's so 80s and 70s. Nah, bro. Sometimes you just can't you can't help the hand that, that you're dealt with. You feel me? You can't have you can't help the cards that you dealt with. You feel me, G? But let's get into it right here, man. Project Bo, man, from Peblos, man, 54th Street. We right here in the Peblos right now on 54th and Holmes. Feel me out here thugging, yeah, man. I've been over here my whole life, man. Straight from the hospital, straight right here. I could walk you to my old houses and all that. Grow my mom and shit right here. I mean, you know, it was, I mean, shit. It was lovely. I loved it. I love growing up over here, man. I love everything about this shit, man. This shit right here, I mean, it, you know, this home right here. Everything out here, man. You feel me? Everybody over here, like family. You feel me? All my niggas out here, you feel me? Grew up like brothers and shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy, Project Bo. Real low bottom, real. Will Preblo Bishop. Real Pueblo Del Rio housing projects natives right there, man. But up next, like I promised y'all, y'all, I'm gonna share this video with the Oriana boys and their thoughts and opinions and whatever how they feel about sharing the hood. I, I, I was exposed to that, that life since I was ten. Damn, and bro, you can you can hear their name, boys, bro. You can I, feel that pain. I mean, it's it, it was just so dark at the you know at that time. Uh -huh. This is a hard life over here. If you gotta walk around, you know, with a gun. Facts. You know and. This is what we go through every day, you know what I mean? You think you got it bad, but there's more, it's worse out there, you know? That's back in your no hometown. Fight, no guns, no knives, no fights. And for those of you who get to reach your dreams, it's never too far, so don't quit what you're doing. Stay strong and hold on and keep your head up high and reach for the sky from day to day until the end of time. The crossroad is near, so please, everybody, try to stand together now with no kind of fear. Let the night be here. If you ain't, got no ain't nobody trying, trying to do no nothing trophy. positive you to these communities but us right now. We're trying to change a lot of things, you know, within the Cambodian community around here. Man, we over here trying to, um, you know, watch over the little kids and protect them. You know, we, we tell them a lot of positive stuff. You ain't gonna see no little kids starting doing drugs, you know. I'm hoping one day I, I could be a producer, own my own little um, independent, you know, record label, and and just I want people to think of me in ten years that. This guy did it, he made it, and he's doing a lot for the community. He's doing, you know, um, I want to build like Man. temples, you know, f Cambodian deep. temples, you know, here in LA. Deep, 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 that was some deep stuff, man. You know, I just felt that it was in my heart to share this video. Most of y'all have probably seen some of this footage. 
but you know i took my time out of my day a couple days actually to make this collection of footage man and this information and you know just shed light on the homies right here no way shape or form is this trying to downgrade or throw shade you see i didn't throw any and amigo shit i might have probably said that in the beginning that i was bro some real nigga shit though i didn't bro this is all educational informational these dudes right here bro are doing their thing man follow their music follow their they journeys bro you know what i'm saying if you know them you know them bro please share this video if you like this content man if you want more content like this man please like subscribe leave a comment bro be going crazy i appreciate everything i appreciate all the numbers on my youtube be going up we going crazy roughneck tv baby we out here